Hey everyone, this portion of Stuff and Things is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide, a familiar friend of the channel. Sportsman's Guide is a one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs, whether you are into hunting, skiing, backpacking, hiking, camping, whatever it may be, Sportsman's Guide's got you covered. If you head on over to their website right now, you can find great pricing on anything that you may need for your outdoor adventures. Their prices are extremely competitive, they often are running sales as well, and they carry a lot of gear from big, reputable brands. It's thanks to Sportsman's Guide that I'm able to get out here and continue to make these videos that you guys enjoy. So if you do like what you see here on the channel, check them out at the top link in the description down below. And thanks again to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring this portion of Stuff and Things. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Another weekend, another trail trip. Currently out with a lot of cool vehicles today. I'll give you guys a rundown of everyone who's here. And we're not even at the trailhead yet. <laughs> And I think it's gonna be sort of like a repeat of last weekend. The snow up here, we're probably at like 10,000 feet. It's already getting kind of deep. We got Jason with us again today. What up, bro? What's up, man? He's got his Tundra out. You might see his Tacoma here sometime soon. Tuan is out with us today in the FJ. Long travel suspension on this guy. Thing is sick. Leroy got the 2022 Tundra. Oh my gosh, dude. So is this where we turn around? No, we just, we're just we not even at the trailhead yet. <laughs> I know. This thing is coming along nicely. Wheels, tires, roof rack. You did that quick. Yeah, it's coming along. You got some contacts. <laughs> Patrick. What's up? What up? Got his Tacoma out here. Are we meeting anyone else? I think that's it. It's just us, okay. That's a good thing. Yeah, that is a good thing. So there's Patrick's Tacoma. Now we chose this trail today because it's pretty easy, not a whole lot of obstacles, but in the winter time with this much snow, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. This is gonna be fun, guys. Oh yeah, yeah. the whole trail is an obstacle now. Oh yeah. I can just feel the excitement <laughs> radiating from everyone. This is my buddy Billman, you saw him in videos a long time ago. What's going on? He's out visiting. Now before we get going, up to this trailhead, again, we're not even on the trail yet. My Tacoma is currently sitting at about like 95% complete. Went over to Running for Tacos this past week, picked up some new parts, had them do some installs. I did some of my own installs as well. So let's check it out. Oh, you got See, <laughs> yeah, their menu doesn't say if they like. Put it back just a little bit. Okay. Oops. No, dude, with your luck of bracing stuff. Yo, don't jinx me. <laughs> Come on, man. And just like that, we now have rock protection. Super stoked for that. Got a little bit of a flare in the rear here for getting up top to the tent and to the roof rack, which we're going to install next. Starting on the side here, I finally have rock sliders now. I'm so stoked on this. In the last video, you would have seen the skids that I put underneath from Backwoods. These are running for taco sliders. Full top plate with a little kick out on the rear. A little extra step to get up to the roof. Probably be putting those things to the test here pretty soon. These have about a 10 degree angle on them, so they sit up nice and tight to the truck, looks really good, gives me a little bit of a step too. And then on the top, I decided that it's time for a roof rack, so the truck looks pretty complete now. I got the Prinsu rack on top, 
some side handles mounted on there as well. This thing was definitely tricky to install. It took us a little bit longer than we expected because it's very difficult to drill into the axis cab roof, but these guys nailed it. We actually sort of rigged it up with my air raid snorkel. So the fitment on this looks perfect. Now running a roof rack with a snorkel can be a little bit difficult sometimes. So we added some holes here and mounted it. That way it's not even really touching the side of the truck or the wrap. And then from the front, it just looks pretty perfect. On top of the Prinsu there, we also mounted a 42 inch light bar, white lights coming from Diode Dynamics. I'm gonna be working with them for some other lighting accessories on the truck. So right now that's the only light bar that I'm running. Haven't even been able to test that out yet, but it is insanely bright. On the Prinsu, I also have some handles over here to step up on my sliders, get access to whatever I need up here. I believe I'm gonna be using some of the diode dynamic camp lights. They're like super bright and kind of overkill for camp lights, but I still have an extra switch on my Garmin. So I think I'm gonna put two on each side. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. The last thing I installed is actually underneath the hood here. Underneath here, I installed a new intake from InGen. So this thing bolts up even with the air raid snorkel on here. Also adds a Ram air intake in the front here. Install was pretty easy. It took me maybe 30 minutes. I stood it in my garage and makes this thing sound like a freaking race car when you're up over like 4,000 RPMs. So this thing allows for a whole lot better airflow, pairs well with the tune, my Black Ops off-road throttle grenade. Truck is pretty damn dialed at this point. Now everyone is airing down, so I probably should too. I got a new air down tool. This is a digital ARB air system. So this is a digital gauge where I can actually pull out the valve stem. So airing down is gonna be super fast today. I better hurry up too, because I think everyone's already ready to go. All right, so we're all aired down and ready to go. All of the parts that I just mentioned here. If you use my code TALENTSI at checkout at Running for Tacos, you can pick up some parts for yourself and save a little bit of money in the process. So, you ready, Jason? Yeah, let's go get stuck. <laughs> let's go get stuck again. <laughs> oh my gosh, this video might be short. <laughs> We're not even at the trailhead yet, and there's a giant drift right here. The truck is sunk all the way to the skids. Air down, locker on. I guess I could turn my front locker on, but I don't think that's gonna help much. We've been blazing the trail following some snowmobiles. You have a rope handy? Oh my gosh. I'm up to my knees in snow. Whose idea was this? Yours. Yeah, I got it, yeah. <laughs> you said let's go play in the snow. I don't know. You need uh, 37s now. Yeah, you think we can fit 37s on this thing? Oh yeah. Even with 37s, I'd be like halfway up my wheel. So Jason's hooked up with the soft shackle to here. I guess he, if you pull me off, I'm just gonna try to keep going forward. Yeah, just go, just go as far back as you can. Easy, yeah. Okay, that's good, go back. A little bit further. Yeah, a little more, you're almost there. All right, after a couple attempts, we made it. We're not even, is this the trailhead? I don't think this is even it yet. <laughs> but check out this view. Sheesh, as the kids say. Yeah, dude, we should camp here sometime. I think the 22 Tundra will plow through it. I hope so. It's pretty <laughs> smashed down now. Yeah. Get it, get it. Talent cleared the way. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Here's a look at how deep 
the snow was that we had to plow through. Here comes the 22 Tundra. Making it look easy. And Patrick in the Tacoma. My truck sucks. We need to make it better, Tuan. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blame it on the shop that put the gears in and everything. <laughs> Are we going that way? Yeah. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's so deep, dude. <laughs> that's way deeper than it looks. Eight inches of fresh snow the other night does not make this fun. Go, 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 go. All right, our options are pretty limited, so <laughs> now we're just straight up having fun. Like right, a... I'm gonna go down this. We're, sure that, we're not sure that that's like not a big pit right there, right? Might be. <laughs> Jeez, dude. <laughs> so close. You look like a Jeep guy parked at a mall. Driver side, yep. And then just keep going straight. You gotta flex that one out too. Look how off camera you are. <laughs> Slides off the mountain. <laughs> this thing looks so good. Go to the mall and crawl around. Go to King Supers, get some groceries. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Take this, take this party back to the, to the crib. What's the call, Chief Tuan? No. We could, we could just go pick up groceries and just all show up at Mike's house and be like, surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> He's busy today. Yeah. This is not, it just keeps going like that. It's all you. <laughs> Probably just gets deeper the higher I you get go. stuck up there. Yeah. I don't know. Another trail, I guess. <laughs> You know where we could definitely go drive on trails? Where? Arizona. Ah. They don't have snow. <laughs> oh man. How's that look, Tuan? I think we're done. I think we might be. I think we should. We should totally should have went south. Should have went south, man. All right, well, we went a couple miles up the road to another trail, basically the same area. And like we all kind of thought, there's just too much snow. <laughs> we didn't even make it to a trailhead today. And at least we had fun in the process, I guess. So this gulch goes all the way up the trailhead again. We're not even close to it, but we're at a point where we can turn around. So, damn. Failures. Yeah, it's, uh, it's too bad, but uh, you know, at least we're outside. <laughs> we are outside. It was still fun. This thing is pretty sweet right here. You should get a shot of that. Thing's all chained up. Let that guy lead the way. Uh, this is 
Still on the way out. <laughs> Scratching the rat, bro. <laughs> well, we gave it our best efforts today. I was hoping that we'd be able to see what the new Tundra could do. And, I mean, you guys will see it eventually on Fawn's channel, Running for Tacos. I am a fan of the new aesthetics, though. I think this thing looks pretty damn cool with a little bit of modifications done to it. Here's a quick look at what the diode... Dynamics 42 inch light bar looks like while it's on. Insanely bright. Did not have to use the sliders today, but it's nice to stand on them when you get out of your truck and you're in two to three feet of snow. So, yeah, that's a win. I think from here we're gonna have to wait a few weeks until it gets warmer here. It's going down to like zero and sub freezing temperatures this week, so. The snow ain't going anywhere anytime soon. It's such a bad combination because we have like not great snow for skiing, but too much snow for wheeling. So yeah, well, it's either gonna snow more or it's gonna all melt pretty soon. From here, we're gonna go to a town just over the ridge and probably stop and grab some pizza because we haven't eaten yet. And it's like, what, three o'clock probably. Yeah. So that's it. If you guys have any questions on the truck or the 5% that's coming, let me know in the comments down below. Happy to share that stuff with you guys. That's gonna be all for today. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe and make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.